Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and I'm V-building some stickers, some repro labels, in fact. This is the Prime P2 set, except I'm just doing part of the P2 set. So part of the P2 set. I'm doing the Wheeljack parts, because I'm about to try reviewing uh, an upgrade kit for Wheeljack, and I thought, hey, I'll gussy him up a little bit beforehand. I've actually got the instructions open over here on an iPad, so uh, I'm cheating. FYI. Also, I thought this would just be a nice, chill way to, to say hello and do a little V-Build deading and, uh, and update you guys on uh, a thing that'll be coming out in this channel shortly after you see this, in fact. Uh, first, though, I gotta figure out how these sword stickers work. Uh, looks like... Looks like they... It looks like I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna pull one off and, I guess, just see if it sticks down somewhere. It looks like this'll play nice with that and... Yeah, alright, let's give this a try. Anyway, after this V-Build, I'm gonna be uh, putting up another trilogy of V-Build Lives that I did. Uh, they're gonna be another trilogy with Kryn that we did in early October, and they, we did them with, uh, with pumpkins everywhere. They were kind of our little Halloween set of V-Builds, and uh, Kryn had this really great idea of why don't you try getting the very Halloween-oriented V-Builds up, you know, in time with Halloween, which is this week. And I was like, ha, you and your thinking brain and all of your thoughts that you have. And uh, basically I agreed with her. So I'm going to be trying to get those up uh, over the course of a couple of days. I might, I might actually post more than one a day. If you're okay with me posting more than one of them in a day, you know, let me know in the comments. I never really know... How people feel about more than one video going up in a day. Um, I don't know if it messes with your, uh, you know, your your schedule or whatever it is that you have that you live your life by. Um, I have no idea if I'm doing these stickers right. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's going to be going up, and hopefully you guys have some fun with that. It is going to have some Arms Micron. You know, I'm running out of Arms Micron toys, so if you are dead stinking tired of arms micron soon that won't be your problem anymore uh it'll just be me mourning the line alone all by myself even Kryn, i think is just tired of i'm like hey Ar arms micron Kryn's like oh yeah arms micron <laughs> um i think i figured out how these work by the way the uh the curved end goes at the bottom it seems it's it's that, that seems to fit together the most with the sculpt so let's let's try running with that. Um, anyway, we we V-builded some uh, some Leo Prime, some Ultra Magnus, but then the third V-build is something completely new to my channel. If you've been following the WTF or TFW podcast at all, uh, you've heard me yelling about these things like they're the second coming. Um, they aren't, but to me, I guess they are because they're cool. Uh, but the third V-build for Halloween. Good Times is going to be uh, my first look at some Tenkai Knights. I made it a V-Build because I, I wanted to, to sort of sit down and BS a little bit about the things as I'm trying to figure out, you know, how some of their engineering works. I'd only opened, like, one uh, before that V-Build, so it's pretty much just based on the minifigures. So if you have any interest in that line, hey, you look forward to that! And uh, Ultra Magnus is, is a pretty interesting V-Build as well because it was my first time actually messing with that toy, and I had barely touched it before the V-Build recording. And, uh, had some opinions to share there. So, look forward to that, hopefully. Um, that's a V-Build Live trilogy coming up after this one. Very shortly after this one. If you're if you're tired of V-Build Lives, though, don't worry, because I'm going to do another V-Build Dead right after that. Although, I also want to do a V-Build Live solo of something to uh, not only mix one of those solos in, but uh, also to, to mess around with something that I want to do with a chat. But, uh, and I was going to try to do... Um, a couple days ago, but just didn't work into the short visitation window that I had. So I'm going to do it by myself. And by myself, I mean by myself with a chat. Because the V-Build live solos are, I think, still the lowest population count among the varied V-Build uh, genotypes. So I figure I'll add one more to their population. You know, just to give them the hope that they might survive. Give them the, the feeling that they're... You know, equal to uh, to the other V-Build types. And, uh, yeah, I'm still pretty much set on doing all these different kinds of V-Builds. 
Mostly because every kind I do, someone really doesn't like, but someone else really likes. And I figure, hey, I'll just do all of them because then V-Builds are more fun for me to do. Because I always got new adventures to look forward to every day. Ah, these swords are done. I'm pretty sure. So these swords now get reflective edges, so as they look more swordular. And that's it for accessories. We're just going to be doing stickers on Jackie at this point. And from this point. Onwards, and with I think this is another Oracle sheet, although it's probably not going to be anything as crazy as the knockout labels. Uh, I believe that this, though, is the oft requested, at least at the time of the toy's release, uh, chest Autobot logo sticker label thing that was not tampoed on here when the, uh, the Prid Wheeljack originally came out. I don't know if I just don't fit in with everyone else as well, but I am never super bothered by missing faction logos. Maybe it's because I've been so embroiled in third-party toys for the last couple of years that, to me, I don't really care if the actual logo is missing or not, because I know who the character is and blah blah blah. And, like, even on third-party toys, I never really feel the need to add logos. Uh, I don't mind doing it if the opportunity presents itself, but... I don't know. I just never, never feel like I gotta. I never feel like it's a missing part of, uh, of the toy equation for me. Maybe I'm an elitist. Now, I think that these white rectangular-y benty things here are the wrist stickers, and I think this one goes on that wrist, what is over here. Now, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but looking at the picture, this appears to be the way the world works. So... Let's just run with it. Well, that's pleasant. This is the kind of repro label I enjoy where it totally just looks like a paint app. Like, a factory applied toy paint app that wasn't actually on the toy and, and now is. Like, it doesn't look like a label trying to be anything more than something that's blending in chameleonically with uh, all the stuff around it. Problem is, nah, I'd really like to make these look vaguely symmetrical. Damn, my vanity. I need to get a better vantage point on this thing. There we go. Okay. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing when I put the other one down. Truth be told, I, I don't really think about what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> Self-deprecation joke. But... This looks okay, and I think that that adhesive has taken. All right, what else we got here? Oh, we got the uh, the wings, the ho wings, up top on Jackie's shoulder things. Hey, that rhymed. I'm good. I'm not entirely sure how these are gonna stick on. I didn't really look at this very much before. I just kind of. Balderdashedly stuck my nose into this business. Maybe I can run mushroom pegs, right? I can't. Okay, apparently I cannot just snap them out of the mushroom pegs. So I'd like to go wide and in. <clears throat> How about now? Come on. Okay. Clearly. This thin bit is supposed to run through those t ah, those tabs. Oh, I'm terrible at this one. Okay, there we go. I think that is in general the way by which it would like to lie down and now I how does this work at all with the with the inner detailing uh, I don't understand this sticker whatsoever I am doing this right I think is this supposed to rest over all this stuff like this I guess this is one of those times with the oracle where you wanna get the hair dryer out and have it cling down I, I guess I'll do that after I put the other one on that, that doesn't look good. 
I must not be doing something properly here. I don't know. We'll try this other one. Give it a shot. See what happens. Try from the top down. Oh, this... Okay, going from the top down is playing much nicer with uh, with where all the tabs are and etc. On, on this thing. It still doesn't really seat all that nicely, though. I think that this does need to be hair dryered slightly. I wonder if I can just do that. On camera, even. Well, luckily, I happen to have a hairdryer lying around here, because I was just messing around with it in order to get the antenna in on that Ninja Turtles Cockroach Terminator figure. So let's give this a try and see what happens. Might get a bit loud. We'll go low at first. Whoa! Ideally, this will cause it to cling, to shrink and cling. Not seeing a whole lot of results of this so far. I forgot if this oracle needed a whole lot of doing or if it just kind of did it. Oh, baby, yeah, okay, so... The hair dryer heated up this stuff and made this way more pliable too, so I just kind of like blasted it a bunch and then pinched it together, and now this is this looks way better. This looks a lot better. This is that magic Oracle vinyl stuff, so hooray. Thank you, Repro Labels, for using super interesting materials. And uh, that's that's about it for the Oracle vinyl, aside from, uh, from a little ways uh, away from here. That made no sense. What I'm talking about is that I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these silver bits now. Ah! And uh, I don't really know how these are going to work. There's another time where I guess I should have done a, a, a tad of preliminary research, but then that wouldn't be the manly way to do stickers, would it? I don't think that any of these in particular have to be like the top part. I think it's just like the way they're arranged on the sticker sheet is the wheel shape that they ideally will arrange themselves in once placed. And I see an edge here, so I'm pretty sure... This is how it is supposed to go. Yep, that, that looks looks about right. I don't think that these uh, metallic stickers can get any kind of benefit from a quick blast of hair drawing, so I'm just going to leave them be and flatten them with this thing as much as I can. If anyone knows if I'm wrong, though, if you have used the hair dryer to blast these things down, please let me know in the comments. So, uh... Even if I've already done this sheet, maybe, you know, generations um, of children, you know, after our time who reference this archival footage will, uh, will know what to do. And if you are one of those children from generations far beyond our time, all I can say is you better goddamn be figuring out how to bring me back to life if I'm, if I'm not already in a cyborg body. Because someone will, and if I find out you watched this and you didn't, you know, you didn't get off your, uh, didn't get off your ass and do something about me? Well, there will be a reckoning. A new city-state will rise from the ashes of the Metal Wars. And let me tell you, you won't be a part of it if you don't help me. Get my immortal robot body. This is actually pretty easy, but this is also just a whole bunch of busy work. Oh, this is a whole bunch of busy work. This is the kind of zen thing where you just sit down with a stack of repro labels in front of a TV set and watch your favorite It's Totally Not a Soap Opera, I swear it has special effects in it show. Mine's Once Upon a Time. And just kind of zone out. We'll do one more of these wheels. There's, there's actually six sets of them on here, so I, I guess you have enough to do all four wheels and then they just give you two more sets in case you screw anything up and that's that's kindly I appreciate that unless I'm missing something and there are a fifth and sixth set of axles I'm supposed to be in silvering here I'm uh, I'm not too certain all right I got you I got you Ah! Alright. 
How does this look when it spins now? Ooh, blingy! Alright, I'll spare you watching that a whole three more times, and we'll just jump cut ahead from here and get to uh, the last bit of goodness on this set. Oh, so... Um, there were actually slight differences. I didn't realize the wheel axles were a little bit different. They're kind of mirrored on each side. Basically, it's real obvious how either of these stickers are supposed to, uh, either of these sets of stickers are supposed to work. So just, if it doesn't match up with this shape, it goes on the other side. Anyway, we've got a few stickers left to go here, and, uh, these are actually vehicle mode oriented stickers, but what the hey, let's just do them in robot mode, because we're badass like that. We got us some rear view mirrors to do, and they're pretty reflective. Ergo, they'd probably work real well. Ah, as rear view mirrors. These don't fit, like, perfectly into the space. I guess you c it leaves enough for you to have a small rim, uh, much like an actual rear view mirror would probably have. Except for on those newfangled future cars where everything is just made of glass. This thing's crash test horribly, by the way. Shrapnel everywhere. You're dead already. There we go. Yeah, check it out. We got us a windshield. And to spare you the time of seeing it happen all over again, I'm just going to move on to the other car-oriented sticker on this limb of the robot mode, which is uh, these little uh, thrusters that go in place of the rear t yellow tail light. I say thrusters. These are actually just these are tail lights. I'm just trying to be cool. But uh, again, these are one where it's it's pretty obvious how they go together. I like the idea of lining these up along the edge, so you still get some of this yellow as kind of a a ridge of light around these tail lights. And uh, boom, we're done. And hey, guess what? Magic of editing. Now these ones are on as well, so uh, we're progressing pretty smoothly here. We've got one last type of sticker to do, and those are his foot stickers. These are some more Oracal magic, and I wonder if I can get his, uh, his foot's pretty solidly on the joint. I don't think I can pop it off too easy. Whatever. We'll do them this way. Let's get down on the ground and lay them in. Now, I do believe... He's go on like this is that one. Okay. So this is Oracal. So if anything here doesn't quite take properly, you can always bust out the hair dryer and do some very careful but very prudent heat treatment. Ah. This has a nicely shaped ridge to rest upon. And I do not foresee this being troublesome in the least, because repro labels tend to cut their stickers super well, and this is no exception. Check that out. That fits in quite perfectly on the sculpted detail. Let's do one more, and then we're done ski this booski, as someone who doesn't speak Russian might say. All this Oracle makes me excited to do the rest of this P2 set, because um, there's 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 more stickers on here for Prid. Voyager Optimus and Prid Deluxe Cliff Jumper, uh, a toy I actually I kind of like. He's not as good as the first edition Cliff Jumper, by any means, but he's just a kind of cool toy, and one that I really wish had gotten a remold of some kind. I think he would have been perfect uh, for Arms Micron as another Stunticon, and I'm kind of astounded that that you know is not actually the case of what transpired. There we go. Oh, let's go lefty. I'm not ambidextrous. So this is going to all go wrong. Oh, it all went right. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't dislike uh, Prid Cliff Jumper. You know, going in expecting nothing anyway. Uh, he's okay. He's got some neat qualities that would have been real fun to see attached to another character. But sadly, that was not the opportunity that we were given. Maybe someday in the future. But we're also all repro labeled up here. So, Jackie boy looks a little bit more dapper. A little bit more ready and set to go. This is an amazing shot of his feet. Hey! 
So uh, you'll be seeing Jackie again sometime in the near future, and by that I mean in the next two years, um, sporting some Dr. Wu stuff. But uh, hey, Rupper Labels, they're pretty cool. P2 set, it's 10 bucks, and you, you get stickers for three toys, and this is just one of them. So ideally I'll get my money's worth by putting the rest of them, these, them, these, the, the here stickers on the other two toys, but hey, I'm, I'm happy enough with this Wheeljack stuff because I bought these long enough ago that I don't really entirely recall these being a $10 expenditure. So it's magic stickers that just have been in my drawer for a while. Hey, I feel good about it. So uh, we'll see you later. And as I said, coming up next, V-Build Live Halloween Trilogy. Get ready for it. There will probably be more than one going up a day. So it doesn't take three days to put them all up. Professional. <laughs>